Hey guys, welcome to Puddin's Kitchen. I'm Toyin and today we're gonna to be making beignets. Now, first thing you want is about three quarters cup of warm water. We're gonna take about a teaspoon of sugar and melt that into the warm water. We're gonna give it a quick stir so that it dissolves. And just like that, your sugar is dissolved into the warm water. Now, if you have a mixer like this, go ahead and pull it out. This is the time to use it, but if not, just go ahead and use your hands. We're gonna put this, pour this right into our mixer. Then we're also gonna add in our teaspoon of vanilla and a tablespoon of butter. Now, if you don't have, if you don't want to use butter, you'd rather you just use like a vegetable shortening. You can do that. You can also try out coconut oil, coconut oil as well would work. All right. So now we're going to lift the mixer and turn it on the lowest speed. Let that mix up a little bit. The warm water is also going to melt your fat. All right, once the butter is completely dissolved, just go ahead and turn it off. Now we're gonna add our flour and heat. So what we're using right now is a cake flour. In order to make it rise though, which is what you need for beignets, I've added baking powder, three tablespoons of baking powder into two cups of cake flour and also a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna add this in in heat, a little bit at a time. And it's gonna make a mess, so don't worry about it. Okay, and we'll turn it on again. We're just going to add a little bit more at a time. And you're going to want to keep your blender on uh, the lowest speed. All right, you're going to let that mix slowly. You don't want to over mix it, so you want to keep it on a low speed. You can also turn it down or turn it off and wipe down the sides a little bit with your spatula and then turn it back on and let it blend. All right, I'm gonna add the rest of this flour in here and I'm gonna let it mix for about another, I would say two minutes or until all of your dough comes together and forms a ball. I'll meet you guys on the other side. Hey guys, so we just took the dough out of the mixer. Now make sure that when you have your dough in your mixer, you're really scraping down the sides of that bowl and getting everything incorporated. At the end, you should have a nice firm ball. It shouldn't be too soft, but it also shouldn't be too uh, hard and spongy. If you need to, add a couple of drops of water to it to loosen it up. All right, so you wanna grab some flour in a bowl and definitely flour your hands up first. Now what this does is it makes sure that when you handle your dough, your hands aren't sticking to it. All right, so we're gonna do, I should have floured my plate too. All right, so now we're just gonna throw some flour on a nice clean surface. And we're gonna roll this out and cut it up so that we have our beignets. All right, make sure your hands are nice and floured. And you're gonna get a mess. This is gonna be a mess, so just, just enjoy it. You also have your rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin, um, you can use anything that's round. You can use a cup and put some, um, like a, a tall tumbler glass that's flat, and you can put some flour on that as well and roll it. And use it to roll, I should say. Okay, so just lightly, we're gonna start in the middle and go out to the edges. All right. We want these to be about a quarter of an inch thick. Right. Doesn't have to be perfect. When I've I've been to Cafe Du Monde before, and what was cool is that all of the beignets are kind of just different odd shapes. They're not like perfectly square, so it looks nice and homemade like that. All right, that's about a quarter of an inch. And if your dough starts to stick to your rolling pin. Just put some more flour on it. All right, there we go. So now you're gonna get a knife. 
You could also use, you know, put make any shapes of this you'd like to. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this into like rectangles. I want these to be pretty big, so I'm going to cut big ones. Okay, I'm going to move those ends out of the way. All right, so now what we've got here is a beignet that is ready for frying. All right, so I'm going to cut up some more and then I'll meet you over at the fryer. Hey guys, we're finishing up our beignets. We got them all cut up now. And so we're going to get a nice hot pot of, I'm using corn oil. You can use um, any light oil, vegetable oil, um, anything that's light and doesn't leave too much of a flavor. You don't want any residual oil flavors when you're biting into your beignet. You just want to taste all the doughy goodness. All right, so we're going to bring this up to 325. It's always best to have a thermometer so you can really check and make sure you know what temperature you're at and then we're just going to use some tongs to lower our beignets our beignet dough and right when you put that dough in you should it should immediately start to sizzle and fry you don't want it to be boiling in oil so that's why you got to make sure you're at the right temperature all right we're gonna get all of our pieces of dough in here And they really don't have to fry that long, guys. They're gonna fry until they get, like start floating at the top and are nice and light brown. And you also don't wanna overcrowd your pot. So what I'm gonna do is put that many in and I'm gonna do another batch after this. So right now the dough is starting to float to the top. Like I said, it doesn't take much time at all, but you wanna you know, toss them around a little bit in here. You wanna make sure that all sides are getting fried and that they are um, turning golden brown. That's the color that you want. These are already so beautiful. I love the way they look when they start popping up to the top. Don't get tempted to take them out right when they start floating though. Do let them get some brown color and some caramelization because that does add to the flavor as well. And you want to make sure the middle is, is nice and done too. Now I didn't make the huge beignet size. I made kind of a small beignet which is nice because uh, beignet is, is filling and I just kind of want a little bit like with coffee or tea. If you happen to have some chicory root coffee, that would make this even better and a more authentic experience. It's gonna be like you're at Cafe Du Monde, you know, eating their beignets and coffee. So we're gonna keep on stirring these and get them a bit more color. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit more just cause I'm not getting the color that I like. So I'm gonna speed up the process. Now, if you don't have the chicory root coffee, it's really easy to make it yourself. Chicory root, you can buy it online and you can just add some of it to your own, to your own coffee and make a chicory root coffee and it'll taste great with these beignets. We sell the beignet mix and the coffee as well. We sell chicory root coffee at Puddin'. So if you get a chance, definitely check us out at Union Market and come and get some of the beignet mix and the chicory root coffee. Okay. Turning these up a bit more. Just want to get more of a brown color on these. All right. So we're going to pull these ones out and then dump in our next one. Be very careful. Okay, we're going to do our next batch. And then I'm going to meet you at the end. We're going to powder, put some powdered sugar on them and I'll tell you guys all about other toppings that you can put on these other than the traditional powdered sugar. See you soon. Hey guys, so we just finished frying all these beignets and now we're going to sprinkle some powdered sugar on top. Now in New Orleans, they are gonna put a lot of powdered sugar on top, so we're just gonna follow form. And if you have a sifter or something like that, just go ahead and sift a bunch of powdered sugar on top. You can literally do a mound of powdered sugar. Too much is never too much. Um, but if you don't like the powdered sugar experience, then you can also do, I've seen people take um, a chocolate sauce and put it on top. You can put a fruit topping on top 
anything you want really anything you like because it's basically just a donut right so not just a donut i have to correct myself it's a beignet but it's delicious and it will add flavor to any of your desserts you can really dress it up do whatever you like thank you so much for joining me definitely check out this recipe um, at the end and then also follow us on facebook twitter instagram at dc pudding love to hear your comments or if you guys would like to see me make something very specific, just let me know. Would love to see you back here again. Thank you so much for joining me.